hey, I went to uh, Trivicon. If you don't know what Trivicon is, it's basically Comic-Con, but in Connecticut. And I decided it'd be cool to record stuff on my camera. So yeah, here's that video, I guess. Hey guys, it's Riley. Ah, <laughs> um, I'm here at Trivicon in Connecticut, and I'm gonna go walk around and talk and to people because I need more social cues and talking and shit. Yeah, well, we're gonna go do that. Let's go. Does anyone want to be in my shitty YouTube video? It's only gonna get like five views. Hey, I, I just wanted to say thanks for killing the orphans. Uh -huh. Technoblade. Uh -huh. love, love killing orphans, you know. Love <laughs> killing orphans. So what are you cosplaying as? I'm Titus from Final Fantasy X. Awesome. What's orphans! Your... Orphans! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Rest in peace, Technoblade. Rest in yeah. peace. So, uh, why'd my dad leave me? I asked myself the same question. Let's go! What is the W-2 tax reform and how, how do I fill it out? Uh, that's a good question. You should ask someone more qualified than me. Those weren't around when I was. Maybe they went on a club. Maybe they went to a club or something. Well, I had to kill my father. Oh. Twice. Oh. Whoop, this... This, uh, if there was one thing you could change about the Star Wars, like, series, what would you do? I would cast Will Smith and Mace Windu, and somebody would slap him outside the window. My monster, the other time he was himself, but mutated. Therapy ain't gonna fix that, man. I I'm sorry, I don't... What is your favorite movie? Long Talk and Two Smoking Barrels. Alright, if you could make a sequel to Long Talk and Smoking Barrels, what would you do, and how would you do it? Um, it would be called Lock, Stock, and Three Smoking Barrels, and it would have the same exact cast with uh, Guy Harvey as director. Where'd you get that lightsaber? Uh, Ally Sabers. That's cool. Um, so what's like one uh, hot take you have of any, any like... One hot, one hot take I have? Black Panther was not one of the best Marvel movies. Stop jacking that. Y'all right. only like Black Panther because Marvel finally put another black hero out there. Y'all did not really care about Black Panther like that. It's not better than Ragnarok. It's not better than Infinity War. Stop lying to yourself. And if, you, so yeah, yeah, if, yeah, so. if you love wrestling, follow me on TikTok at J Aries. J-A-Y-A-R-I-E-Z. Podcast coming soon. Subscribe to my boy, Cabbage Boy. A couple more things I did that I forgot to record. Uh, I found a TikToker, Stefina Sassano. Um, she's really big on TikTok because she cosplays as a rogue from X-Men. I didn't know she was going to be coming to this convention, so it threw me off when she walked by me. And in my head, I was like, oh my god, she's here? No, wait, scratch that. She's real? And I kindly asked for her picture. I wish I could have gotten an interview or talked with her more, but honestly, I was such in a panic that I just left after the picture. Uh, let's see here. What else happened? This T-Rex and Godzilla fought. It was pretty fucking funny. Oh yeah, this kid dressed up as a Jawa and traded me Imperial tokens for my lightsaber. And I was playing with the bit, right? Next thing you know, this guy stole my lightsaber, which I think is pretty funny, but now I need to buy a new lightsaber. So yeah, back to the regular stuff. We're trying something new. Hopefully this works. If it doesn't, I'm just gonna look like a real idiot. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, that's so cool. You're so cool, you're cool. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, what are you dressed as? Johnny Cage. Oh, that's awesome. So what's your favorite part of Comic-Con? Um, the games. What games do you like? Street Fighter. So you really good at it? Um, not really. Anything Thank you, you want to say to the camera? Hi. <laughs> the amount of effort and dedication and also just confidence to come out and to a, a group of people that you never met and like take pictures and like be a completely different person. And everyone's viewpoints on it is very cool. Do you think these these co conventions help with social anxiety or do you think they make them worse? Oh no, definitely help out. It's more like kind of like bringing out your inner person. That's just, you know, my guess my character song Break Free. Everyone wants to break free of their comfort zone and here it's like your family so you don't get judged by your family so everyone just has a lot of fun being who they want to be. It helps me out because like, um, like Star Wars comforts me with my anxiety so then if I see other people who like share that, I'm like connected to them so I want to approach them. Yeah. Like I wasn't anxious when you approached me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Something that I think is funny, or is a nice little thought to think about, is uh, the comic book illustrators and writers like Stan Lee, Steve Ditko. I, I don't think they understood, or still understand, the uh, impact their, their characters and their stories had on people. And I think the best thing that represents that is Comic-Con. You know, people wear costumes, people take time, take money. Yeah. You know what I mean? To make other people happy. Either Terrificon or Horrificon. 
It's either yeah. life's gonna be terrific or it's gonna be horrific. And it's like, which one are you gonna pick? It's cool that people can react to art in this way with such passion and such uh, inspiration and the drive to be uh, whatever you want to be. It gives everyone confidence. It's a good day when you can find people that are having fun, laughing, you know what I mean? The world needs more of that, you know? It's very awesome. So yeah. Oh my gosh, look, it's, it's, it's Kevin Conroy, guys. That was that was the dumbest joke I could have ever. Is there anything you want to tell to the random random people on the internet? Oh, go to conventions. They're a lot of fun. Do you guys want to be in it too? Or... This is pod racing.